I think okay. oat milk with cinnamon toast crunch is unbelievable. I just think whole milk, like ice cold whole milk and cinnamon toast crunch is maybe like my favorite high snack of all time. Mm. See, I actually like skim milk over whole milk. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You always like that. You're listening to The Real You. Thoughts, ideas, and perspectives from the ordinary and all of us. My name is Dooley, and this podcast is in partnership with Pocket Change, the social platform built to show the real you. So if you had four drinks for the rest of your life, and so water's on, you basically have your finger, your hands. Water's on your thumb, cold water. And there are four drinks, the exact same four drinks. So like whatever you pick. I could only drink those four things the rest of my life. Those are the only four for the rest of your life. And for example, if you say, okay, coffee. Like, is it hot black coffee? Is it, um, yeah, sure. It's not all the way. Like whatever it is, it has to be that thing and it can be branded too. So like uh, Coca-Cola versus a root beer, but like it's one of those. The root beer is not a brand. Fuck (laughs) Coca-Cola versus a Sprite, but like it's one of those. I would go. Okay. So, uh, Tivana has this really good green tea called Jade mm. Citrus Mint. Mm. I drink it probably every single day with like an ounce of honey in it. Okay. I would have that come out of my finger hot. It would be. Yeah. Okay. So hot green tea with honey in it's that. It'd be like 109, 111 degrees. Mm. Um, mm. That would be nice. All right. That's a good, that's, that's a good start. That's a good one. Um, I don't drink coffee or I try not to. Mm-hmm. I would probably go literally like the suja. I drink these things all the time too, these green juices. So green uh, juice and a green tea. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. See why you're not a blue guy. It's all coming to the forefront now. <laughs> well, you're asking, I like blue gate, but I'm I drink kidding, the rest I'm of kidding. my life. I'm fucking with you. There are other things that are better for your body. Mm-hmm. And if I if I was confined to four What days, is the suja? I have no idea what that is. It's, I, I mean, it's like just these pressed juices. Oh, okay. Honestly, they're like stupid expensive, so I should probably stop buying them. But well, let's move it to the finger and you're all set. Thank you. That's what I thought. But actually, you know what? They're six bucks at the store here. They're $2 at Walmart. So I just got it. But Walmart's an hour and a half away, so that's not really worth my time. Yeah. Uh, yeah so I'm going green tea. I'm going suja green juice. Um, oh, man. Wine? Is there not a wine on there? Yeah, I was thinking about alcohol too. Yeah, and water. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> oh man, um, wine, beer, or a cocktail? Ooh, ooh, ah! But cocktails for me change all the time, and so does wine for me. So, like, based on the season, I want to drink certain things versus the other. So, I guess maybe I do something that kind of hits both for both seasons. Yeah, that's nice. And you know what, right now, honestly, this is just theoretical, so I don't know why it matters, but if whether I choose one or not, it's not going to be real. But I had a... Uh... <laughs> Glad you figured that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had a daiquiri, for the, like a real daiquiri, for the first time the other day. Mm. It was so good. It's just like rum, uh, I think it's lemon juice and like sugar, whatever, simple syrup. Yeah. But uh, it was unbelievable. I thought it was delicious. That's, I'm I'm actually kind of surprised, I think, because I feel like the daiquiri is such a poolside, warm feeling drink. Like to, you're, when it's warm, I drink it as like a chilling thing. But if you're like, but I guess this depends on your other selections. But if you're sitting by a fire on like a snowy night, and you're in the mood, you don't want your green juice, you don't want your tea. I'm assuming you're gonna grab a wine. Is the daiquiri then like, oh, we're all having cocktails, and you're like. Yeah, let me just do my little daiquiri. Which it could be. Do my, do my little dancey dance. No, I'm going to change this up, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Because if I'm going to drink something consistently, I'm going to go vodka soda. Vodka uh, soda? Because consistently. Yeah. Like, if I'm going to have to drink the same thing all the time, like, this is the only thing I can drink. I'm going back to theory. I, I went to, th- to the fact that this is just theoretical. Now we're going serious again. I'm going vodka soda because I can drink that all the time. Not... Like, uh, I could, but that's my, that's like just my baseline. 
You can't mix it with the green juice either. It's, you're just having my. Well, why would I mix it with the green juice? <laughs> well, because it's. I guess I can. They're my fingers. I can mix them with whatever the fuck no, I want. I'm mixing fingers. <laughs> mixing fingers. <laughs> fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm going to skip this one. I got a cocktail on lock. The wine that I'm going to choose, though, is going to be uh, Pinot Noir from Burgundy. Mm. Um, Farfalle? I think it was Farfalle. uh, Favelli. Favelli. 2012. Um, I don't remember the direct region, but... uh, it's beautiful. It's super floral. It's really nice and fruity, especially for like a wine that has like 10 years of age on it. I thought it was uh, fantastic. Mm. That's just me though. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, this cocktail is really fucking with me, bro. So something, I guess I'll, I'll jump in here. I'll jump in on my, we'll come back to the cocktail conversation because that's a, that's a tough one. So I instantly go to like, okay, refreshing drink. Uh, beer a cocktail and then i kind of dabble with the last one but i actually think i do go into wine because i've got water and so refreshing i go then to tea which i obviously like hot tea and and stuff but um i think like a uh kind of like a more hibiscus type of like a heavier flavored tea not sweet still unsweetened but um yeah like a heavier flavored tea that's iced is really good. Even with a little bit of like lemon in there. Fucking. Um, so that's my refreshing drink. And I go to beer. Something sessionable, but like not just too bland. So some kind of Pilsner, even the probably the Rev Pills, the Chicago one. Something I think, draft. Something uh, draft. A nice something fucking draft. craft draft pills. You know, something, draft draft pills. something you can just fucking have on the game day, you know, watch a game or you could, uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, basically a sessionable beer, some kind of pills. And I think the red pills and I go into cocktail land and there's two, there's three things I think. Of. So I go to whiskey, I go to tequila and mezcal. Whiskey is probably actually my cocktail of choice generally. Um, but I find that if it was like a summer day and I had some kind of like old fashioned or something, I'd kind of be disappointed. Um, whereas it's good for the winter. And then I go to tequila, which I go into margarita, which I actually think is debatably the most all time cocktail as in, you can kind of have it feeling like fancy sort of ice thing, but also on a hot day, but also even kind of warm you up with the tequila by the fire. So that's probably my like special shout out. But that's actually also where I go into the mezcal because it has a little bit of that tequila icy sentiment, but then the burn of uh, and the heat feeling of the whiskey. So there's this one mezcal drink I actually had in San Miguel. It's called like a Brujo. It was like this smoky kind of floral um, mezcal cocktail thing that was still kind of comes in with the like straight mezcal, like not sweet flavor, but then has this kind of floral sentiments that give it a lightness. Um, that's my cocktail. And then I'd probably go wine for the um, fourth thing. You got to pick my wine for me though. Cause I basically got to go red or white. And at this point, I, I would love to sit down with you and like, cause like I, I taste wine by myself all the time and it sucks. It's the worst way to taste wine because everything I taste is what I experience, but other yeah. people taste different experience, like different things yeah, yeah. in their wine. It's collaboration. Um, I would love to buy like four or five wines and like learn what kind of wine you like. We should do, we should do when you're, uh, yeah, when, I'm back. when you're here, we should do a special, yeah, like a, a hairy lead wine tasting. We'll all chip in. We actually oh, get a handful of people be, too. Cause if we all just have like a little cool glass, man. we get like eight bottles and just fucking get a big squad. And it's, right and before, <laughs> it's right before my wine exam too. So that would actually, yeah, yeah, suck. yeah. Just, okay, perfect. We're locking that in. That's really awesome. Fuck yeah. We do a little wine tasting and stuff. Uh, you got to teach me the notes of stuff. Cause we did that with the mezcal or the, yeah. the tequila tasting. And I always forget. I'm like, well, and a lot of things is made like when in wine is basic structure. So like you have acid, alcohol, tannin, sugar, and body. Yeah. All of those things, like each wine has that. Mm-hmm. It's just different levels of it. And then obviously each grape produces different characteristics and floral notes. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. I actually changed my my lineup. 
Okay. All right. Um, we're going to go with the green tea, but it's going to be unsweetened because I think that'll be, I'm going to keep the unsweet green tea. No. No honey. <laughs> A little, just a little honey. I feel like that's a good. I have ten, man. No, yeah, four. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go a little bit of honey in there. We're gonna go with the suja drink. I'm gonna go with kava or champagne out of one of my other fingers because I've I heard someone say this somewhere, and I fucking agree with it. There's like, if you're drinking champagne, you're always celebrating. Like, champagne doesn't always just need to be uh, like, oh my god, congratulations, champagne. It's like, yo, I woke up today. Champagne. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that okay. sounds good. Yeah, I yeah. love champagne. Um, little Tuesday morning champagne. Let's fucking go. Oh, it's Tuesday? Yeah. Fuck. Last week was Tuesday. Champagne. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's my new mantra. <laughs> Next week will be Tuesday as well. Champagne. Yeah. And it goes um, on Monday. And it goes on Monday afternoon. <laughs> and then I had this I had this really cool cocktail the other day. It's called Death in the Afternoon. It's Prosecco and Absinthe. Really good. Obviously not like the gen- the absinthe that we all think of, the one that like makes you trip and chick. Um, but absinthe is like one of my favorite liquors. Mm-hmm. I love the way it makes my body feel. Yeah, it yeah, like, yeah. immediately yeah. makes my legs feel like kind of like jello and like I'm walking through water. Like I love the way that absinthe affects my body. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I would drink it every day because I think that it it's probably has a little bit of like a lot of sugar in it. Mm-hmm. But there's this uh, cocktail called the Sazerac that's uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's like rye whiskey and cognac and uh, uh, like you basically wash the glass in absinthe mm-hmm. and it's really good. Mm. I think that kind of balances everything out. If I have champagne, I have that because <laughs> it hits my whiskey note. It hits my wine note. But then where's, there's no, oh, does that, that champagne. Be- which one? Where's the wine in there? Champagne. Oh, because it, it's an expert. I'm saying I got champagne, and I have the the other notes. Like I have my whiskey. I have mm-hmm. a cocktail that I enjoy to drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. And I got my water. Yeah, well, back to the basics. <laughs> well, it's interesting because it's also. I mean, I think about it too. With, is it wiser to do two? drinks that aren't the alcoholic ones but then it's also kind of like well in my life what am i if i cut out some kind of hydration drink like a gatorade or the bonuses of things that i do there it's like really i just iced tea is actually my thing that i really like yeah like i like iced tea would want to stick to for my whole life but then beyond that i don't really drink milk anymore uh yeah milk's milk is kind of crazy man like people just like no one drinks milk anymore man (laughs) Yeah, milk's fucking so 2014. I will say milk is the only thing acceptable to put in your cereal. If you're putting almond milk in your cereal, you've already gone wrong. No, I, I time out. I time out on this one second. Uh, time out? I, I okay. think oat milk with cinnamon toast crunch is unbelievable. I just think whole milk, like ice cold whole milk and cinnamon toast crunch is maybe like my favorite high snack of all time. Mm. See, I actually like skim milk over whole milk. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You always like that. That's you're, always, you're skim milk, bro. You are skim milk. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I kind of fuck with oat milk and cinnamon toast crunch. You, the oat, the oat milk itself kind of has this oatmeal cookie kind of flavor. And it's a little bit more textured. You know, it's like the cinnamon plus oatmeal cookie in one bite. Cinnamon toast crunch. I mean, to go into the cereal route here, cinnamon toast crunch is. It's so oh, good. it's the best cereal there ever. Yeah, it's like there's not even a question. People will say Captain Crunch, and I can I can have Captain Crunch. Sure, Captain Crunch. Yeah, I like Captain Crunch, but it's not the best. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, I'll hear people on if you know Reese's Puffs are pretty dang good. If you if you're into the old chocolatey version, all right. Reese's what new game? Four cereals. <laughs> cereals. Mm-hmm. Cinnamon Toast Crunch lock. I don't ever eat cereal. I don't, I, the only cereal I eat is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I, I will not. Okay. Okay. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Honey Nut Checks. Oh, okay. I think Honey Nut Checks are gas. Um, and that I, I don't know if I would ever choose another cereal. 
Okay. It's got to be sugary. Otherwise, there's no. Otherwise, you're eating sawdust. Yeah, there, even the cereal that's not sugary, it's sh- sugar. It's hard. With a little less sugar on top of it. Like yeah. grow Cheerios, up. Like, Cheerios. Cheerios. Like, just... Grains. Like, you're fine. <laughs> honey nut Cheerios are way better than normal Cheerios, though. Oh, 100 percent. But it's just honey covered sawdust. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's great. It's covered sawdust. <laughs> but yeah. No, no. Have, you ever, have you ever tried? So I, when I was like applying for jobs after I uh, got let go from the Four Seasons, like during COVID and everything, I saw this article they posted about a new water sommelier and like damn near pissed myself laughing because I was like, what the fuck is that? Why would you ever need somebody to tell you which water you like? Yeah. Like, that's that's absurd. It's but also I, there you go. I would say I didn't get it until I had this one water. <laughs> Have you heard of aquapana? I don't know. Shit's like drinking silk. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh my God, it's so good. Yeah, well, I was going to say there definitely is a difference between waters, but to your point of, I can kind of just taste the difference and just be fine with it there. I don't necessarily need it. Yeah. I would never have more of like... <laughs> There's such an explorative, like, experiential factor to it that to have experts in it and people, like, studying it, I think is a different. (laughs) Yeah, like some dude comes up to your table with a briefcase and he's like, which one of these would you like? I'm like, none of them. Give me the tap water. I'm not paying for that. If someone came up to me with a briefcase and was offering me water, I'd fucking be down. (laughs) (laughs) Really? You gotta pay their fee. Tell me about it. Just tell me about the it. The difference is like with us, we charge aquapana here and it's eight dollars for a large what bottle. Years, what year is this water? What years is is this aged? Is this been <laughs> this does this come down from the sky? <laughs> you could really taste when did this fall? When did this you water can really fall? taste the hydration in this one? This water had movement much? Is it oceanic hills? Was this free flowing or was it stagnant? Yeah. How how long has this been stagnant? I like a nice stagnant sip. <laughs> so every every week we take our bottle and we shake it and then we put it back. It need they need those molecules need to be massaged every every week or so. Like price when he told me not to drink the water. Next to my bags it goes bad. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Hold up. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I was downstairs, but it kind of got in my head. You, you know, price doing his like pricey thing. He comes in, he's like, Oh yeah, you don't want to like drink that water, like it's been sitting out. <laughs> like, like what like, it was like dead serious like it doesn't it? taste as good i'll say like it when it sits <laughs> in the house like i i have noticed like if Did water it? sits out it tastes different but it doesn't go bad i know it's like crazy it's and then i had to think about it i'm like no, it's just all water is just out <laughs> 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 like, what are you talking about